What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the clutch. Hey, hey back to ladies and gentlemen, another busy today. You feel me? I know I ain't do the in the clutch, but this is more of a uh, pod series type uh, mm-hmm. video, man. We got Joe Budden calling out Michael B. Jordan for speaking on getting called corny. Um, and uh, we were able, supposed to get on this last time we recorded, but mm-hmm. forgot. But in doing so, we seen that Joe Budden have some uh, comments to say mm-hmm. about Michael B. Jordan. I'm a uh, a watcher of the Joe Budden podcast, so shout out to them over there. Um, but I definitely didn't agree mm-hmm. um, with the comments and his take on what he felt as far as Michael B. Jordan responding to the young lady that was interviewing him. So yeah. we're going to play this clip real quick, and then we're going to kind of go over our thoughts on what we thought about it. And let us know what y'all think in the comments down below as for sure. well. You feel me? For sure, for sure. Jordan, <clears throat> the director and the star of Creed 3. And you know, we know each other. We go way back. That look was ready. He was ready. Though. Chad Simon. He was ready. Newark, he was okay? ready. Corny kid, right? <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah you did not kid. say that. Miss Corny, mm-hmm. for sure. So you yeah, did. nah. I, you... Say, I said we used to make fun of the name. But yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was in So his right bag. there, she's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, like, yeah. I'm, about to li- I'm lining you up. Yeah, I'm telling nah, you up. Come on, bro. And she did admit to saying that we said we used to make fun of the name. I mean, there was some type of teasing being involved. Yo, you definitely call my man corny. Yeah, it's you okay. definitely it, said it, something. It it's cool, bro. It, hey, it happens. Rock bro. out. It happens. You did not hear me say I said we used to make fun of the name. But yeah, he is obviously killing things out here. How is mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. actually directing <laughs> and working with the same people that you were directed with versus? Uh, it, it was it was awesome, you know. I'm happy to and proceeded to do the interview. Yeah, as you know, kept it professional. Um, I spent on the Creed films. Uh, wasn't nothing. He ain't go Tessa, go overboard. Shot, you know, he wasn't still and, making uh, a joke or anything. Just the camera, got a to answering the question. <laughs> they loved it. They embraced it, and uh, it was a wonderful experience. And was it difficult for you mentally because you're coming out of a different space? <laughs> shout out to the shout out to uh, the majors. majors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You doing that to a girl true. is some corny nigga shit. I can see that. You being that Michael B. Jordan today, uh, allegedly sexiest man alive my, in all of these all blockbuster my... movies. I agree. During your highlight week, you've probably never been more visible than you are right this second. And that's what you do to her. And if I bring back them white girl rumors, then it's going to sound even crazier. That's like, damn, why then so Then it's going to sound crazier. Because yeah. why are you talking so to strong. our sisters like that on the red carpet? We only talking to white bitches like that. That 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 just yeah, nah. the, the race part brought up was like kind of yeah. pointless. It yeah. was pointless period because it it was no form that didn't even have nothing to do with the whole conversation. You were yeah. talking about somebody that was actually talking about you from you being a child. Yeah, you feel me? Like what person would not wait for a moment like that to kind of look at their bully? You know, so many years later, while you're successful, you're actually up now. You get a mm-hmm. chance to kind of prove your bully. Like, hey, I was that nigga you was talking about. Mm-hmm. Who wouldn't take that opportunity? And it wasn't even like he, you know, went in. It was he didn't. more. It was, it was real more chill. of like on some. Hey, yeah, you know, the person you used to make fun of. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. Nah, it's all love. It's all love. It kept going. You know what I'm saying? And you know, just like a little little jab. There ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. I don't think that's corny. What would been? What have uh? What would have been corny is if he like kept bringing it up. That kind of would have been like, all right, you got it off the first yeah, time, yeah, yeah. then he kept doing it while she's trying to conduct the interview. That mm-hmm. kind of would have been on, on the corny side. But just because you said, you know, just because, you know, someone that used to make fun of you, which kids do, and then, you know, you never know how your life turns out. And not to say that she's not doing her thing. You know, <clears> she's out there right, being able to interview people, so I'm pretty sure she's in her bag. But for, you know, for him to be where he's at in the status in his life, like, of course, if I remember you and I know you used to go in. Oh, I'm on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make my you. little jokes I'm and then you. I'm going to keep it moving. Like, it, it, hey, it was nice to see you again. You know what I'm saying? And keep it moving like that. But I wouldn't bring it up just because you talk to white women. Like That, I, that was that's I, I, that, the, the rumors you talking to white women. What does that have to do with anything, bro? Nothing at all. <laughs> But I'm not gonna make it racy. They say I make everything racy. Well, that was corny just did. to speak to that girl like that. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing. I would, I would have made Michael joke. B. Jordan. That's why niggas call you corny. Off air. I would have made a joke off air, like word. Hey Creed. You know hey, what's this nigga's name? I wouldn't have did that. In front of hey Creed. <laughs> <laughs> in case you were confused, that corny ass shit you did is why niggas think you corny. Yeah. I wouldn't call that. In corny, case bro. you were off a little bit mm-hmm. as to why you niggas keep thinking that money hides corny. Mm-hmm. Joe Budden going off on Michael B. Jordan on this podcast talking about 
why he bring that up to the I girl think that's about the, uh, 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 the his, other guys. Yeah, um, his his takes on it. Yeah, so homie had them both together. Shout out to the dude that uh, had this video up. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, I wouldn't that, call that corny, man. Yeah, that wasn't corny at all. You know, it was, it was something lighthearted. You know what I'm saying? Like we we call we quick to call people corny in our community. Yeah, and I wish people was able to see the the interview. I mean, the the pod more. Because the other people and the co-host wasn't really just sitting there just necessarily agreeing. Yeah. You know, um, that's not Flip funny. didn't agree. Yeah. Um, Ish was really kind of combating what he was saying. Joe kept moving the goalposts because he was talking about how we grew up seeing him being corny. You know, Melissa was bringing up the fact because I watched kind of that, that portion mm-hmm. of the pod earlier today. She was saying that, um, I mean, he was saying that we was able to see him on the wire. Mm-hmm. And she was just like, yeah, he wasn't as attractive then. And he was just a skinny dude that was probably 100 pounds soaking wet mm-hmm. and so forth. And, you know, he just wasn't an eye catcher around that time. And that, I don't know if that's what they were saying, was deeming him as being corny or not the person <clears throat> that people really focused on. Mm-hmm. And then he grew up into being who he is now. Yeah. Um, I kind of felt like, you know, they, they were kind of taking that and they weren't really being up front because Flip, Brought mm-hmm. up a good point, mm-hmm. saying, "What about Drake?" Mm-hmm. And then he moved the goalposts okay. and said, "Well, Drake is Canadian." Nah, and it was just like, "Well, what does that got to do?" Dude, now it's like it was nah. always another because Drake uh, rhetoric. Drake was considered corny <laughs> and stuff like that. Degrassi, yeah. yeah, to me was more of a corny show than The Wire. Mm-hmm. When you, those, those two don't even match and up. Drake, you know, he definitely called out couple of his exes on songs yeah. you know or people uh what's the song we was just talking about the other day where he was like oh yeah i've done music or whatever <laughs> he he was like some car he, rides me yeah feel like i was losing losing it, it. yeah <laughs> he told her hey yeah, i do good. music she was like oh word true shit and i put on that new ludicrous yeah like bro these are things that happened in his life he turned it in the bar some would say it's corny but it happened in his life mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and i'm pretty sure them same people you know you know he's probably mentioned in songs like we'll hit them up but don't say their name you yeah. can call that corny as well but niggas just be singing the lyrics and niggas be rapping the lyrics so i mean i don't and they don't call them corny i i just think you know at the end of the day when when you meet someone or and you've had history with them and you know they may not have been the nicest there's nothing wrong with just you know you know throwing it out there hey i remember you boom 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 because it, it makes it feel more authentic in the interview because mm-hmm. at the end of the day they they joked about it and then they kept moving it wasn't one that shit. Yeah, bro. it didn't. It didn't feel like yeah. negative. It didn't feel like it was yeah. like, oh yeah, the corny dude. Remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because she the one who was just like, oh yeah, we mm-hmm. went we to go school back. together. We He's went like, back yeah, to we, school. Yeah, yeah, the corny dude, huh? Yeah, and, nah, I didn't say that. But it's just like at the end of the day, it don't matter. And I think they said that the girl who actually called him corny doubled down on it. It was just like, mm-hmm. yeah, I did call him corny, and he was corny. And it's just like stuff like that, fam. I, I, I want to say in our community. It's like we're also we're, we're putting a, a a down, you know, on mm-hmm. people who are trying to be successful, articulate, and uh, a stand up right person. Mm-hmm. It's a person that's not in the streets, not drug related, not talking about if and all the girls in the world. Mm-hmm. Every time you're not on that, for some reason, you kind of get the corny bag. They say this about him. They say this about Nick Cannon, Russell Wilson, all the dudes that you don't. I mean, well, Nick Cannon out here, yeah, you he know, just, he populating the world. But yeah, he definitely is. All in all, single-handedly. For people that look like they just, you know, they not street, they always seem to get this stigmatism of being corny. And I feel like we really need to stop that because what we're teaching these young men growing up now is, damn, in order for me not to get called corny, because he tried to make it seem like corny wasn't a a, a bad slur or term. And I'm like, fam, That's nobody want to be called corny. That's cap. If somebody see your, his son, who was like probably, a you know, mm-hmm. a 20-something year old dude, and they say, bro, your son corny, you're not going to take that as like, oh, nah, appreciate it. No, that's, that's you not. That's and what we teaching these young, we these young dudes growing up, especially in our, the black young boys growing up, we teaching them, hey fam, in order not to be corny, hey man, you got to be a little thuggish, you need to be a little edgy, you need to be a little, you know what I'm saying? I learned at a young age, as I got older, bro. I, uh, I I'd rather be quote unquote corny in myself than try to portray something that I'm not. Because <clears throat> a lot right. of times, it you know. You know, those same women, you know, but oh, he corny, boom, 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 boom. They'll hit you up years later, want to talk to you because you, you know, your corny self is doing something. You, you, you stay true to yourself and now you at a higher elevation, you know, and them same women that was calling you corny and lame, they'll be hitting you up with a couple kids. 
Oh, yeah. A couple baby daddies. Oh, yeah. That's, that's and usually then how now you're not corny. Oh, I always thought you was cute. I just used to mess with you. And these are things that happen and vice versa for women, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Women that had they glow up after school mm-hmm. and the dudes that used to make fun of them be the same dudes being the DMs. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to fit. And that's just what it is, bro. Hey, like we always say, be yourself. You feel me? You know, if if you if someone call you corny, hey, be proud of that. Because at the end of the day, there's, there's so many people in this world. Someone's going to like you for you. So and yeah. I, I def, definitely disagree with Joe on that one. I don't think yeah, that's I corny. Anyone that is saying... I think you corny for thinking it's corny. <laughs> That's how I look at it. Like, bro. Yeah, hey, and, then, this is not corny, and to bro. go so strong about it, to start to, it's, it's, we got to stop doing all that, man. I don't even, first of all, I don't even think it was that serious. It wasn't. It was, and it's it was like the talk of the town now, like everybody getting on it. And, you know, we wanted to make a video about it because I was like, man, hey, this is one of the mm-hmm. topics I wanted to hit. And this is just something that we got to stop doing, bro. We got to really stop pushing that, that notion that, hey, you corny if you're not in the street. Yeah. Cause those not the dudes that surviving on treating people right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So when they go upside your head and shit, and they ended up being in jail, you going to a funeral early, it ain't cool no more. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But let us know what y'all think in the comments down below. I want to sure. see what you guys thoughts on this situation. Definitely wanted to get our piece out there. So if y'all want us to do more videos like this, different topics and other things like that outside yeah. of when we doing the pod, let us know. But I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys think. So comment down below right now. Keep on running them like, subscribe, be yourself. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Already. Bitches from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.